Today's video is sponsored by Secret Lab. We all strive for the best possible gaming experience, but the importance of a good quality chair is often underestimated. Secret Lab produces some of the most comfortable and high quality gaming chairs you can get. So upgrade your commander chair today and fly in style and comfort. Follow the link in the video description to their store, type in your height, your weight, and it will tell you which chairs fit you for the best possible seating experience. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Lead Dangerous Without With Astronomy. This is my blunderboss build, and this is about as much fun as you can have with your pants on. I've been flying this thing around for the last couple of days, and it is absolutely hilarious to fly. I took this thing out earlier today just to like hunt some NPCs, have a bit of fun, and I want to show you a clip from from that trip earlier today. But first, I just want to give you a quick, a quick idea of what this build is all about. It's a close range, high DPS build. It's basically like a, like a shotgun, as close to a shotgun as you could possibly get. It's not practical. It's not meant to be practical. It's meant to be a lot of fun, and it is. But without further ado, let's head out and let's see what this thing can do out in the build. Ah, so here we are. I found my first target, a combat rank master anaconda. And yeah, he definitely seems to be paying attention to me, interested in scanning me. Now, this ship really thrives on surprise attacks. So I'm gonna let him scan me, just wait around, sit, don't really do a whole lot of things. Just prepare, put some pips into weapons, because we're about to consume a lot of weapon power. Just gonna let him scan me, it doesn't matter. Wait for him to finish his scan, realize I have nothing of interest to him, and he's gonna turn away, look for more lucrative target. And this is when we sneak in on him, sneak up very close behind him, wait for him to present a nice big target, and let rip. There we go. And he is in about half shield, he's down to one ring, and his shield is down. Switch over to the other fire group, soften up his armor a bit with the multi cannon, and let go with the pacifiers. He's down to about half hull now. Let's give him a second salvo with the pacifiers, he's down to 20%, and he is about to be no more. There we go, 22 second and a master level anaconda is gone and we have 156,000 credit in our um, transactions that we can now go and claim. Oh, but look at that, there's another anaconda. Hmm, let's see, and he's right next to me actually. Is he turning to scan me as well? Well, he's dangerous, so slightly more difficult this time. He's definitely wounded. Yeah, seems like he is turning to scan me. Well, just as before, let him scan me. Take our time, we're not in a hurry right now. And we're gonna wait for him to finish, as soon as he finishes, he's gonna turn away. We're gonna sneak in behind him, wait for him to present a nice big target. Don't wanna be straight behind him, we wanna wait till there we go, nice big target. Open up with the lasers, again, more difficult than a contest this time. His shield is about to drop uh, down to the last ring that is gone there. And now we switch over, he boosts away, but we have so much speed that we don't really have to boost to keep up with him. This ship is blisteringly fast for its size. Um, kind of messed up there, I don't know why I, I didn't shoot him right away and I missed my positioning there a little bit, so lose a bit of time. But I managed to stay out of his line of fire for the most of the time. You can see actually his weapons right up there on my cockpit, but it doesn't matter. A small bump and there we go, he is gone. 36 seconds there, not the cleanest kill. But I still got him in around about half a minute, 248,000 credits. Um, but look at this, there are even more anacondas flying around here. Uh, our shield is down, but not to worry, this is an armor tanked uh, build. It doesn't really have, it has some shield as you can see, but it's not really, it's not that strong. It's only really there to take like a small, um, a small initial hit. Uh, the main tank here is definitely armor. This time we have ourselves a deadly anaconda. Don't want to wait for him to scan me. I have a good target with him right here in front of us. So we're going to open up at him. We're going to try to stay about 90 degrees above him. Right outside his uh, his cone of fire. He launches a fighter. Not to worry. Oh, his shield boost. We don't care. We're just going to take down his shields. They're gone. Switch over to the other fire group. Give him a, a little bump there. And uh, give him everything we got with the pacifiers. Again, he's down to half hull. He's once again trying to uh, to flip around. We try to stay outside his cone of fire. And uh, he's out to 5% and he's gone. 29 second, deadly anaconda is dust. And there we go. 200 and almost 270,000 credits. So as you can see, this thing is absolutely ridiculous. It just eats everything that it can keep within 500 meters of it. Then you're just dust in the matter of seconds. 
I think my record so far is I managed to take down a clipper in 9 seconds flat. From first shot fired until his hull was gone and he was beginning to explode. I am going to post a link in the description for the build if you want to have a look at it for yourself. But I am also going to make a build guide where I go over all the details of the build and why I have taken the modifications that I have. This is a little bit non-standard as you can imagine. So if you want that build guide when it's going to come out, then go down and hit the subscribe button. And well, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Thanks a lot for watching guys. And until next time, I will see you guys in space.